Bob, you've had great success as a blocker. Do you overpower the defensive men or rely on quickness and agility? I feel it's a combination of both. Even though at 6'4", 250 pounds, I still play against uh, people just as big as I am or bigger. And then I still play against people that are smaller than I am and, and quicker. And you have to have your agility and strength. Most coaches would be satisfied with one top quarterback. Bob Devaney of Nebraska has two. Tell us about them, Bob. Well, Duffy, we have uh, two quarterbacks, Jerry Taggy, number 14, and Van Brownson, number 12, who have alternated uh, the last two years as the number one quarterback. And it's been the best two-quarterback situation I've ever seen. That big red offensive machine has been devastating all season. Bob, describe your attack, and the key people will make it go. Well, besides the two quarterbacks, uh, we have Joe Arduna, number 31, a, a great uh, halfback or tailback, and Jeff Kinney, number 35. He and Joe alternate at this position. Kinney was the sophomore of the year in the Big 8 Conference last year. And we have Johnny Rogers, number 20, and Guy Ingles, number 88, two fine split receivers. They're very dangerous receivers on the short pass and the deep one. Nebraska lost eight defensive starters from last year's club. Who replaced them as Nebraska's defensive leaders this season? Well, we have Jerry Murtaugh, our defensive captain, number 42, who has been very effective. He's been very effective against the running game as well as the passing game. Uh, Larry Jacobson and Dave Walleen, two big defensive tackles. Jacobson, number 75. And our defensive backfield, uh, led by Billy Cush, who has intercepted seven passes, number 24, uh, junior. Joe Blaha, sophomore, number 27. Dave Morak, a senior, number 43. And Jimmy Anderson, the only returning veteran from last year's backfield. Bob Devaney has every right to be proud of the undefeated Nebraska Cornhuskers. They'll be out to prove they deserve college football's top-ranking New Year's night in the Orange Bowl. They'll be one of the best defensive teams in the country.